Darius, what do you, uh, what's the answer when people ask how you're going to be, given what you lost and what you got coming back? Uh, I think fantastic. Um, I think around the locker room and around this organization, we know the tools and, and the players we have. And uh, we still have young, gifted players. But I just think our fans and, and some of the doubters just haven't had the ability to see them yet compared to the people we lost last year. What did you learn from those seniors last year in terms of how to lead this team and how to lead a younger group? Um, I mean, I, I learned a lot of leadership skills. Uh, I mean, I stayed with Justin and Kevin, and I, I really just kind of shadowed those guys throughout this senior year. And it, it just allowed me to really see their approach to practice every day, their approach to games, their approach to just how they handle general things, especially when it comes to basketball, on and off the court. And uh, I think that really just helped me get ready for my senior year and, and to help some of the younger guys that are coming behind me. Have you guys talked about offensively how much more of the load scoring each of you will have to pick up now that with the two guys that you lost that you don't have them to pass to all the time, but you guys welcome that opportunity to be able to, to be a little more prominent member of the offense? Yeah, yeah, I think we do. I mean, everybody's been working hard all summer like offensively and our games and all that. And uh, we have a lot of talent, like in, in every class, the freshmen, the sophomore, the juniors, and the seniors. So I think we're going to be fine offensively, and we're going we're to figure it out. How about defensively, Fran? Um, this defense is, is uh, reliant so much on experience, communication. It's different. Um, how, do you, how are you going to be defensively with some new pieces? I think we're going to be great defensively this year. I think, uh, we have really good defensive players like, returning from last year. And uh, I think the young guys are, are going to get it pretty well. And uh, I mean, a lot of guys didn't play that much that last year, but they practiced a lot. So like, even though you didn't see them on court, they know the defense and all that. So I think that's not going to be a problem. Friend, how valuable was that experience, not just last year, but the year before it? I mean, especially last year, though, getting to the tournament, winning games, Playing in the Sweet 16, I mean, bringing that back has to be a huge advantage. Yeah, it's huge. It's, it was like the best experience of my life last year and like the year before playing on the big stage and all that. And it makes you just want to go again. You just want to do it again one more time. I mean, it's my last shot, so I, I really want to do it again because I mean, it's memorable. It's such a great experience, and I'm. I mean, we're all ready to do our best to, to get there one more time. Hey, Darius, how about reflecting on uh, late last season defensively and, and how you contributed and um, if that can carry over? Uh, I mean, that's really not a question for me. I mean, I, like I said, ever since I've been playing basketball, defense has always been my forte. So um, I really know it's going to help me again, help this team this year. It's, it's going to be a vital a vital piece, I, I believe. And um, I kind of I, I want to embrace that pressure and, and, and step up to the plate. Because uh, we've always, we've always, I mean, been, made our success off of our defense. So uh, that's not a secret. So I think we'll have the same approach this year. And um, we're going to be focused on the defensive end. And y'all should see another spider team that's ready to play some good defense. Will the approach remain similar, matchup zone, that sort of thing? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The yes. approach will remain similar. Um, like I always say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So uh, we're going to go in with the same mindset, same approach. And uh, we're going to play our game. Coach talked about managing expectations inside the locker room. Let, forget what everybody else thinks. Hey, have you guys talked about understanding that what you did last year was very difficult and doing it again will be difficult as well? Just He, he talked about working day to day. Mm -hmm. Does that message kind of ring through? Uh, I mean, you definitely have to take it one step at a time. And, and I mean, by any means, trust me, I, I know it was difficult last year from the, the first day of practice to the last days of practice in San Antonio. I mean, it's a long journey. And uh, I mean, anytime you, you reach a, a level of that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some, a level of difficulty. So uh, I think a lot of guys returning know that, even the young guys that, that didn't see much floor time, they know the, the level of difficulty that we're going to see this year if we're trying to get back to the, the same, same point. And we really want to go further. So uh, it's really going to be a more level of focus. And uh, we've been there, so we know what to expect now compared to last year. Francis, you're going to need a little bit more offense from everybody. Obviously, Darian's played the most and scored the most. Can you talk about what he is offensively? And Maybe he's not that three-point shooter that we saw mostly last year. He's a pretty assertive guy. Um, and how that 
might move into this year's game for him? I mean, yeah, Darian is a lot more than just a three-point shooter. He like, I mean, you see him playing pick up during the summer. He does everything on the court. He drives, he pull up, he does everything, and he passes the ball really well. So I think this year you're going to see a different Darian, like a lot more uh, overall on offense, mm -hmm. a lot more, uh, yeah, overall. Lindsey has some very big shoes to fill. And he got to spell K.A. quite a bit last year, but um, how do you guys help him take over that role from a guy that is going to have his name in the rafters here for quite a while? I mean, we just tell him that he, he has some big shoes to fill, and he knows about it. He knows he has to, to improve his leadership, and he did that over the summer. He's, just, he's been a really good leader and like, helping the whole team on the court and stuff as a point guard. And he's really talented, so I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem for him. A lot of talented guys that can score, so I don't feel like there's uh, that pressure of me having to score as many points. You, uh, as a junior at Benedictine, were sort of a sort of complimentary guy because you had a lot of good players. Right. Does this feel familiar um, going into your junior year here and missing a lot of quality players? Um, yeah, it does. Uh, you know, like uh, every other team, you know, they have guys that leave. So we just have other guys that can step in. And me, uh, I have a, a bigger role to take uh, this year. So I feel that, um, you know, it is similar to uh, when I was in Benedictine. I had some good players. Uh, they left. I came in and stepped in. How are you helping Trey get assimilated? Um, you know, over of the summer, uh, we would come in and uh, we would work out, uh, run over the place, what we do in individual workouts. And, uh, you know, just stuff like that, um, some shooting, dribbling that we do in practice. Hey, your game that we saw last year really isn't your game in a lot of ways. Um, can you talk about what you did in high school and what you hope to expand your game into this year? Um, yeah, uh, you know, when I was in high school, I was a slasher, you know, attack the basket. Um, but once I got here, you know, I started to develop my shot. And, uh, you know, everybody's been labeling me as a three-point shooter. But um, I don't feel that's my game. You know, I have an all-around game. I can shoot, uh, uh, handle the ball, get to the basket. So, do you, Will there be more freedom to do that sort of thing, you think, um, given the personnel this year? Um, I think so. You know, we're going to uh, run a lot this year. You know, um, with Cedric as the point guard, you know, he loves to push the ball. So that gives me more of an opportunity to spot up. You know, uh, with my shot, you know, I can pump fake, get the defense up, and then drive by, pull up, or take it to the basket. Coach said that he might chastise you last year for taking certain shots that he's going to ask you to take this year. Do you have to change anything at all, your reaction on the court to, oh, wait, yes, I can take this. It, have you been able to eliminate any of the hesitation um, about yeah, in have, that decision? Yeah, I have. Um, this summer, you know, uh, with playing, uh, I build my confidence. Uh, you know, Coach told me, you know, when you're open, shoot the ball. So that gives me that extra boost in my confidence as well to shoot the rock. Uh, you know, um, yeah, so I'm <laughs> take the shots. <laughs> Anything else? That, that boldness has never been your problem. Um, nah, offensively, yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it, it's a fair nah, way to put it. it.